Hi there, it's Alex from Shelf 12. It's Wednesday, February 17th, 2021. In the last video, I introduced the primitive character movement method and added a visualization of the path from the current location to the destination. I promised to add a couple of objects to the world scene. So I cloned the character and put two copies of it on the scene. I also added an opportunity to alter the skin of a warrior. I assume that this function would be really useful for any kind of game in the future. The first issue I was challenged with this time was the Z index. The characters were placed in the scene in the order I described them in the door. So if they are moving, I have to reorder them. I began to develop it. But I was fortunate enough to see a Y sort component in Godot's library. It does the sorting itself without any code. As you can see, it works as planned. Then I continued to learn the features of Godot game engine. So I decided to experiment with the user interface. As always, I preferred the simplest choice and added a button to the scene. As you remember, I'm working on a turn based game, so it was the end turn button. I drew a simple round button in an Inkscape and imported it into the game. Placing the UI element wasn't that simple, so it took 30 minutes to put it in place. Also, I switched my code from the mouse click handler to the end turn button click handler. So now the movement of character occurs only when the end button is pressed. Improving the movement of character was the last and most critical direction of my work this week. I'm sure the character won't travel straight every turn. It means that the path to the destination may have multiple turns and parts. So I added the option to change the current path by holding the control button. Pressing the button will activate a move, and the character will hit the target along the specified path. The last change wasn't possible without some code refactoring. I was motivated by Unity ECS and decided to keep data and actions separate. I wrote a code to add hybrid ECS-like support to my GitHub project. The ECS is an Entity Component System Pattern. An entity is a container of components, and systems manipulate components to alter their states and affect the scene. Now every object in my scene is an entity. For example, this warrior is an entity with four components attached to it. Behind the scenes, there are three systems that communicate with the specific components. I don't want to dive deep into the technical details, maybe I want to make a video about it later. And let's look at the mind map as usual. I have to determine how to construct a world scene this week. Now I'm thinking about tiles, but a hand-drawn map is simpler to implement. It's also necessary to pick the right game setting. Alternative history is my favorite setting for a game. Fantasy, particular legends and myths are alright too. Also, I've added notes to the map for an entity component system pattern and turn based game mechanics. This is pretty it for today, and if you don't mind, I can use some feedback. It helps a lot. Thanks for watching.